So we've turned to our first MTE preview of the season. I'm excited about this uh, because we're finally talking a little bit of tournament basketball, even though it's just November. And we have Georgia heading down to the Bahamas for the Bahamar hoops. Uh, game one, they'll face the Miami Hurricanes. And then in game two, they'll either face Kansas State or Providence. Guys, when you're looking at this tournament, what gets you excited the most about this thing? And what does Georgia need to do game one to beat Miami? You start with me first. Yeah, I'm gonna start with you, Dave. Yeah. Dave. Oh uh, no, but I for this tournament, I'm I'm actually interested in this first matchup, Georgia Miami, more so than obviously if we get to the losers bracket, that changes the matchups up a little bit. But for Georgia, even going back to their game last week against Oregon, like, I just don't really trust the offensive production game in, game out against good competition uh, against a team like Miami who was in the final four last year, and even when they get in the conference play. I mean who do you trust the most out of that from an offensive production standpoint? I, got, I mean, they got the Abdurrahim kid and they got the Noah Tomlinson kid that look like they, they're they putting up the offensive numbers for them. But, again, I looked at Miami the other day. I watched a little bit of them against UCF. They got about 16 steals in that game. They're a feisty defensive bunch. They get after you. They play physical, aggressive defense. And all five of their starters finished in double figures. I think this is going to be a tough matchup for Georgia. I was actually, I thought Georgia actually looked pretty impressive against Wake Forest the other night. I actually didn't think they'd bounce back against that. So yeah, I kind of like Steve Forbes and them, but Wake Forest keep up with them a little bit. I thought they would get that, but Georgia impressed me. But again, I think Miami's intensity on the defensive side, and I think depth from an offensive standpoint ultimately pushes uh, Miami over the edge to give Georgia a loss in that one. Yeah, it's that's going to be a super tough game. I mean, you're playing a Final Four team and a team that's projected to finish third in the ACC this season. Maddie, what are you kind of thinking, and what do you think? Does Georgia have a chance at this game? Yeah, well, I think Georgia's definitely getting better. I don't see them. I don't see them being stable enough yet to pull out a win over the Hurricanes, unless Miami just has an off night on offense. It's going to be a long road for the Bulldogs to even get through this game. So, yeah, I, I'm with you. I mean, when you look at the stats on Miami, and I just pulled up their leading score, Wuga Poplar, um, yeah, five, three point, made three-pointers a game, 22 points a night. Um, yeah, he's got to a good start this season. Um, but overall, when I look at where Miami's at right now, they are miles ahead of where Georgia's at right now. And Georgia's going to be a decent team this year, I feel like. Yeah, um, yeah. But I definitely am favoring Miami to start this thing out. But if they pulled that off, that would be a massive win. I'm curious to see for Georgia – RJ Sunahara, if he actually gets out in the quarter nights, um, I don't believe uh, he was not. He was out for game one against Oregon. So I'm looking to see how this team is putting itself together with when RJ Sunahara gets out on the court. And uh, I'll have to keep track because the North Carolina Central Georgia game is going on as we're recording. I oh, saw yeah, um, that. Yep. All right. So game two, the leader place face Providence or Kansas State in the Tang game. So Kim English and Providence and, and then Kansas State. Who do you think is the better matchup for Georgia here? We're not going to pick this since we can't really pick a team that we don't know, but who do you think is the better matchup for Georgia here? For them to get a win. Yeah, for them matchup. to get a win. I'd probably say Pro Providence would probably be the better matchup. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. First year head coach in Providence, but it would be yeah, a good team yeah. nonetheless. Yeah. Maddie, who, do you, who are you thinking? Yeah, no offense to David's Friars, but I think Providence is going to be an easier pick for Georgia they're consistent, so I think it'll be easier to determine a game plan for Mike White and what he needs to do um, to build up a win against them. Uh, Maddie, just for our random Providence knowledge around there, who's their most famous head coach? I don't remember. Dave Dude. Gavitt. Come on, girl. Come on. Get <laughs> Come Dave on, You've told me before. I just it's <laughs> <laughs> 80s Big East basketball. You got to love it. Got to love it. All right. So where do you think Georgia ultimately places in this tournament uh, when it's all said and done? Dave, we'll start with you. First, second, third, fourth. Many Georgia fans are listening. They're going to hate this. I, th I think they go 0-2 in this. Oof. That's a rough. I'm going to be a negative Nancy for the Bulldog fans out there. I think they go 0-2. I think they lose. I think they're going to lose to Miami. And I think they lose the matchup to either Providence or Kansas State. All right, Maddie, what are you thinking? I can see them at least getting 50% here, taking a third place. I don't think they'll completely lose out, but I don't see them getting past Miami in the first – First round, um, that's a rough draw for anybody. Yeah, it is absolutely a rough draw for anybody to get one of the best teams in the ACC to uh, kick your season. I'm going to go third. I'm going to say they also do grab a game, especially if they're in the loser's bracket and face Providence. I think they got a chance to beat Providence. Um, granted, 
it's not going to be an easy chance, but I do think they have a chance to beat Providence there. So I'll choose optimism since Gabe's going to be negative on us. Yeah, we had to split. We, we went chalk across the board. We had to split it. This was we had to chance. split somewhere. Yeah, there, exactly. There was, a, there was a fork in the road in this one because that was a good question by where they finish. I, I When you said that, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, there's no way both of them pick 0 and 2 for Georgia. Like, about to. <laughs> I got to keep the Bulldog fans happy know, somehow. Yeah, 